Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. I would like to welcome you guys to How Real R4 Honor Executions number two. Hey, let's get it guys. Okay, now my last How Real R4 Honor Executions video did so freaking well that I decided that we needed to make it a series. Also, before we get into anything with the new executions, on a bit of a side note, I would like to apologize for the audio breaks in my voice. The reason it's like that is because I was trying to keep the mic away from my face so I wouldn't breathe into it. So, uh, again, sorry, still waiting for my pop filter to come. By God. You guys blew me the fuck up in the comments about this one goddamned execution, man. This one right here, I'm talking about the insert new spine one because I said it wasn't real, but a lot of you guys pointed out to me that it was, okay? Alright, so there you go. Alright, you guys did it. Congratulations. There you go. Good, good job. Okay, this is this is real. All right. If you, I'm not gonna provide any factual information to this other than what I just said. If you really want to know any facts, go look at the people in the comments of my last video because apparently they do this all the time. But anyways, now guys, we're gonna get raw right into the video. Before I start this, I would like to point out. A couple things all right number one I'm not a doctor okay I don't really know how true this is gonna be number two I did my research on the internet but this time <laughs> old Trey old Trey he uses noggin this time okay <clears throat> I have found multiple sources basically proving my point about every single one of these now of course there's probably gonna be one I know the, there's going to be one in particular that people are going to bitch about in the comments and say that I'm wrong, okay? I know there's going to be one, at least, and I think I know which one it's going to be, and when we get to it, I'll say something about it. But anyways, let's start this video. Alright guys, we have in him rightly, if you guys have never seen it, here it is, boom! Alright, now, <clears throat> the origins of this move particularly just the throwing of the pommel actually came from a German fencing manual made in the 1430s okay now apparently what this manual told you to do was is if you got into a fight you would basically uns you would try to unscrew your pommel throughout the fight and you would throw it at him otherwise ending him rightly now this whole thing is basically a meme from the channel Scalgrim if you guys have never heard of him I will leave a link to his video about this in the comments, okay? Now, Scalgrim goes into a lot more detail about the origins of this and where it came from, as he usually does with most things on his channel. Because he's a, he's a real, like, sword fighting type guy. He does a whole bunch of videos like that. Now, what you guys came for to see is, could this execution be pulled off, and is it real? Okay, now, the stabbing of the eye... Okay, yeah, that's that's real. All right, that's yeah. Okay, you can you can do that. I, I'm totally confident you can do that. Now, this is this move is still completely impractical though. The throwing of the pommel. So we're gonna call this one feasible, just because of the throwing of the pommel part. Because the only problem with this that I see is. It's really difficult to pull off, but if you can't pull it off, you can end him right. So, does it really make this feasible? Mm. You know what? It's possible, okay? There, it's not, it's possible. Alright, there you go. This move is possible, but it's not practical. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the new overpowered hero in For Honor. That's right. I'm talking about 
the Conqueror. The Conqueror is now extremely OP. Okay? He can turtle up. He can hit you with that little uppercut thing, alright? Conqueror's OP. So, an OP Conqueror is... He's gotta have an OP execution, right? Well, here you go. Conqueror's new execution, the Modified Hangman. Boom! Oh, there goes his head. I really like this execution. It is really badass in my opinion. Now, here's the part to where it's, uh kind of loses its realism guys okay it takes 5600 newtons to rip someone's head off or 1258 pounds of force okay it's a lot of pounds of force my guy all right but i mean hold on real quick hold on i'm gonna have to show you guys this one because in my last video i think i made a pretty good freaking point all right to rip someone's arm off it takes 1,433 pounds of force. So, basically, it is practical that he could do this. Okay, he can do this, but, I mean, is it real? God, no, this is impossible, okay? This is impossible. Alright, you just have to be strong as hell, okay? If you're strong as hell, it's possible. Okay, you got me, alright? If you are freaking dazed and take steroids, okay, it's possible. But other than that, this is impossible for a normal human being to pull off. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the one and only the Peacekeeper. Now, Peacekeeper's new execution, Instant Regrets. Oh my god, it is so badass. Look at that. Look at that. It is just so badass. Now it's time to ruin everything about it and tell you that it's wrong. Okay? It's wrong. Alright, th this is not possible. Okay? This is, this is impossible. She stabs the warden's legs, so he couldn't walk. Now, what you're probably saying is, is that, well, Trey, if I stab someone's leg, they'll probably be able to walk. And... To an extent, I'm, I'm like, okay, yeah, if you stab someone's legs, but someone's legs, they will be able to walk. She hits the vatus intermedius, okay? That's in your legs, that's in your thigh. Now, well, you're probably asking, well, Trey, what is the vatus intermedius? Like, well, what's the purpose of it? I'm glad you asked, okay? It has a quadricep tendon, it hits an artery. It has a number of different nerves. And guess what it's one main action in your legs is? Guess, guess, guess what it is? Guess, guess what it is? The extension of the knee joint. So as you can see, stab, stab. And then he walks around. Okay, you see he just, just kind of walks around like that? Yeah. That is, uh, that is, that, 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 that's impossible. He wouldn't walk around. If someone stabs you in the legs like that, you are going to fall. Okay? Mostly because of the pain. If the pain, if you are just like soulless, okay, and you have like you have a pain tolerance of a freaking Shigoki with revenge mode, then by God, my man, all right, then then you probably say, hey, well, Trey, you know, maybe he can still walk. No, okay, did you not just hear me? All right, the number one purpose of this is the extension of the knee joints, okay? So when she stabs, you still wouldn't be able to walk around like that, you big dummy. You would just fall to the ground. So this is impossible. Next up, we have the beefy boy, the Lawbringer. His new execution, knock knock, is honestly completely possible. Okay, I have nothing to argue with this one. It's clean, and I mean, it is very possible that, you know, he could hit you against the metals so hard that you just kind of pass out and die. I mean, look, he stabs him right there, pulls him forward, or he tries to get away, and then he just claws him in the head. So this is completely possible, and it's really badass. Oh boy. Okay, this, 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 this one right here, yeah, this is the one where you guys are probably gonna try, or maybe you will prove me wrong in the comments. 
But um, I made some notes, and I have like a full page of nothing but notes on uh on Centurion about his new execution. So, anyways, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck your. Ball. Okay. Here's where I have a problem with this move. All right. It is blatantly obvious that this would never work. He doesn't use any real force with his strikes. Okay, look, watch. He he just comes across there. He doesn't really use any force. I mean, look, he just kind of slaps him across the neck and then punches their face off. Okay. I mean, I do think if you did this on a person, yeah, it, it would it would probably kill him. I mean, you're hitting some surprise some major arteries in your neck or whatever, right, Trey? Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. <clears throat> but their head would would not like their head would not come off. Okay, it wouldn't. Those little strikes wouldn't even have enough enough force to hit the neck bone, my guy. Okay. So we're gonna try to look at this differently. Okay, maybe those strikes just loosens the head and he has to literally punch it off. So he has to punch off his like his whole neck place. Okay, he has to punch off bone, my guy. Okay, this is some serious stuff. All right, but even then, and guess what? It's still impossible. Even if he has a couple of strikes on the neck. It's not gonna, again, it's not gonna loosen up the bone. Now, <clears throat> the strongest punch ever recorded is only 2,100 PSI. PSI stands for pounds per square inch for the people who didn't know. This was done by Kane Valsquez. Mm, I'm gonna butcher this guy's name. Kane Valsquez. Okay, so to punch someone's head clean off, you would need. And ladies and gentlemen, hold your pants. At least 50,000 pounds per square inch to someone's face completely off. This is impossible. Jesus Christ, Centurion, you fucking beefy motherfucker. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Gladiator. This next one, how dare you, is really, really badass. Okay. Now, this, this one, this one is actually possible. Okay, so we're gonna assume that Gladiator kills this guy with the punch, okay? And not just knocks him out, alright? Because this isn't execution. This is not, like, this should kill him. Okay. Now, the only way I can see him doing this is to punch people, or in this case a warden, so hard their goddamn neck snaps, okay? So the only way he would be able to do this is he would have to punch them so hard that the C2 or C2 vertebrae would have to break. Now, this, this would need to be between, oh, you guys knew I was going to do it. 840 to 1,500 newtons to break. So let's convert that to pounds because I'm in America and I don't know what newtons means. All right, it's gonna take 188 pounds of force to 337 pounds of force. Now we're gonna compare Gladiator to an average boxer. Okay, an average boxer's punch is 447 to 1,066 pounds of force okay on the face now you have to consider how fast the punch is and how rigidly he holds his wrist you know all those types of variables you have to imagine that but from what we can see here it I mean he click he mm, he takes his hand way back I mean and he just clocks the guy for a direct punch now is this possible yes yes it is That is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sometime this week you should 
begin the video on the ta -da, Vikings. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, this is just my best doing research and stuff like that. I actually took notes on this one, so it's unlike the last one. Okay? And before I leave, before I leave, because there are a couple people in the comments, I forgot to mention this, but there are a couple people in the comments, okay, who said that nut, they're like, Trey, none of these executions would really work because they have armor on, okay? Alright, and you're right, you're, you're right, but can we just pretend for two seconds that they're all naked? Okay, because I really like doing these videos, okay, and I want to entertain you people, so, I mean... To be completely honest, I could just go around and say that none of these would work in real life. No execution works in real life. They're all fake. Ha 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 ha. Because they have armor on. But I'm not going to do that. Because I like to entertain people. Right? And this is fun to research. Now, again, I'm going to put this out there. I'm not a doctor. I'm not an expert on punches. I'm not an expert on swords. Okay? I'm just a guy who thinks executions are badass, and I did my best to find research. If you guys have any different opinions, leave it in the comments, and I'll see it. And if they're right and not fucking mean, I'll give you props on it in my next video. I feel like that's fair, okay? But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave a comment, leave a like, and please subscribe. We are on the verge of hitting 200 freaking subscribers. What? It's crazy. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Stay awesome.